www.dr.hardware.com and we're looking forward to the second leg of the annual Royal Tomian Water Polo Encounter for the Dr. R. L. Heyman Trophy and uh, it's tensely poised at the moment after the first leg, 9 points to 8 to St. Thomas's who are the defending champions and to look forward to this leg I have with me former Royal coach, former Royal captain, uh, former Sri Lanka uh, water polo player as well and a guy who managed to find some time to play a little bit of cricket. Also Jihad Mubarak uh, joins us at the Papare. Hi Jihad, good Hi, to have you on yeah. board. Uh, nine points to eight, uh, it's changed a lot from back in the day when we played water polo because games are much higher scoring now. So is this one goal anything that uh, coach Zafar Zainuddin from uh, St. Thomas's would be uh, sitting on his laurels about? No, not one goal, not with the current format. You just need to win 2-0 or 3-1, doesn't really matter. Uh, one goal doesn't mean much, but they can take confidence uh, in the way they played St. Thomas's. Uh, the first two quarters, St. Thomas has dominated the game. Uh, but then again, Royal can take something back towards the end of the game. They got two goals back uh, towards the end. Uh, and they will feel that they can compete with St. Thomas's and uh, beat them in the second leg and bring back the Heyman Trophy. In terms of speed, Royal generally start off very quickly. Again, in the first leg, they were 2-0 up mm -hmm. in uh, the first quarter. St. Thomas's came back and it was 6-2. So they scored six unanswered goals at half time. So the problem seems to be that Royal don't know how to manage a game. Uh, yeah. That seems to be a big issue. Very is it inexperience? Or? A lot of it is inexperience. Also, it's the first time that like, the water polo season, there's only two schools that play competitively, Royal and St. Thomas's. And until the Heyman, uh, the coaches, the players are never really tested uh, in a high pressure environment. Uh, so decision making, your strategy is uh, under pressure. This is the first time that they are being tested out. So there will be uh, gaps in their planning, uh, in the personnel whom they use in the pool. We see a lot of substitutions now, players jumping in, jumping out. Uh, so the coaches will also be fine tuning their strategy as to when to play with the prop, when to uh, play hard, when to sit back and defend. Uh, and the players will also get a feel for the game. I think St. Thomas has uh, got a feel and the tempo of the game, St. Thomas has picked it up very quickly. And even though Royal scored the two goals early on, uh, St. Thomas has settled down into mm -hmm. the game much quicker than Royal did. And that is the key to winning uh, major and high-pressure water polo matches. Once again, seven goals coming for St. Thomas's, four from uh, Satyad Jayatilaka, three from Asha and Francis. So seven goals from their experienced men. Was that the difference between the two teams? I think so. Uh, and especially key men, your prop scoring goals, uh, creates room on the perimeter for uh, your bars and wings to uh, score goals, to make breaks in. Uh, and also, having a good prop just tires out the defence. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work that goes on off the ball. And once your defence is tired out, guys have to double mark the prop. Uh, you don't really have much energy to go forward and attack. So, the, I, I think the prop game uh, has come, uh, come in a lot now. Uh, the props are allowed a lot of freedom. Uh, there, there's been a revision of rules. Mm -hmm. Uh, where the prop is allowed a lot more freedom, so it makes it almost essential for defenders to double mark the prop. And that's the whole idea of the game, and which is why we see a lot of lot more goals. Uh, you've played in the prop position yourself. You've seen other guys for Royal, guys like Bilal Hassan, who've played there with uh, with distinction. Where do you rate Sachita in uh, that position? Um, to me, Bilal is probably one of the best uh, props that Sri Lanka has produced. Um, Wazim was also a very good prop, also from Royal College. Uh, Sachita is there. His advantage is he's a left-handed shooter. Uh, it's hard for a right-handed defender to mark a left-handed prop because your non-dominant hand has to hold down mm. his dominant hand. It's a lot harder. And he gets into good positions. Mm. Um, and more than him being a good prop, his teammates know how to uh, feed him the ball. So they know how to open up uh, a channel to uh, get a good pass into him where he can access the ball easily and then he's also in a position where he can open up one side of the goal. Uh, and that is the positional awareness of Sachita and his teammates is what is helping St. Thomas's. Uh, St. Thomas's have lost Kosala Vijayawadana who was a rock for them in, in their goal. Uh, is that somewhat of a boost for St. Thomas's, knowing that, so for Royal rather, knowing that they have uh, someone inexperienced yeah. in goal? It, which is why you see a lot of shots being taken, uh, because I think the Royalists have spoken about uh, Kosala not being there, a young goalkeeper being in there. Uh, to take shots 
put him under pressure, which Royal did, but I also noticed that a lot of the shots were off target. Um, one thing I believe, if you hit the target, you have some chance of uh, a rebound, a corner, and you get possession again. But if you miss the target, uh, it's a turnover ball, and then you open yourself up to a counterattack. So taking shots, yes, uh, put the goalkeeper under pressure, make him make the saves, tie him out, uh, but always hit the target. Uh, as a coach, uh, Jahan, you've coached this um, uh, encounter a couple of times. What would you be saying to Zafar Zainuddin and the St. Thomas's coach uh, over this week? Um, just be prepared. Uh, St. Thomas's have one day, have played to a particular game plan where they have got uh, a prop game, a very good prop game going. Ashen Francis on the bar has a very, very good shot, um, which makes it really hard to defend the two meter line and the five meter line. But be prepared for something that Royal may throw by way of a different defense, a different counter-attack. Uh, because scoring goals, yes, but also St. Thomas has conceded late in the game, in the fourth court, in the th which where Royal got in, uh, back into the game. And as the game goes on, uh, maybe look at the fatigue of the players, maybe take Sachit out, give him a break, make sure he's fit uh, for the fourth quarter, maybe give Ashen a break, make sure he's fit for the fourth quarter. Maybe even the goalie, if you have a backup goalie, throw him in uh, in the second or third quarter and give uh, the young goalie a bit of a break. Uh, what about what you will tell the Royal coaching staff? They've got quite a bit of experience there in that coaching staff and it seems the team is a superior swimming team to St. Thomas's. Do you try and exploit that or do you just stick with what No, you have worked? to. You have to exploit it. Um, Sachita, the prop, as a rule, you, as a rule you always make the prop swim. Mm. Uh, you need to tie him out before he comes to the two meter line. So the center defender, that is the guy who marks the prop, has to take him all the way up to the offensive half and then bring him all the way back down and tie him out. That has to be the key game plan of Royal is to swim. And it's not just one guy swimming. All seven, all six of them have to swim up um, and take uh, the Thomians to the fourth quarter, tire them out and then uh, you will see the goals coming like it did in the first leg. And uh, do you see Royal coming back from this? Um, I think St. Thomas's have the edge. They have a, uh, a good prop game. They have good uh, perimeter shooters, in, uh, especially in Ashen. Uh, but I think the St. Thomas's goal is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. If Royal tighten up their defence and stop conceding goals, we should be able to score goals at the other end. Uh, if we concentrate on our defence and not worry too much about attacking and scoring goals. The goals will come uh, if we tighten up our defence. Royal do have a chance. I still think the edges with St. Thomas's. Okay, so that's what Jahan thinks about this uh, second leg, where it's going to go. So it's just one point, absolutely not one goal rather, absolutely nothing in it. And uh, he's coached to come back before, so I'm sure he's going to be hoping uh, for one this time as well. The 25th annual Dr. R. L. Heyman Trophy water polo encounter between Royal and St. Thomas's. We'll see you at the studio last week.